color of your hair? Who taught you to hate the color of your skin to such extent that you bleach to get like the white man? Who taught you to hate the shape of your nose and the shape of your lips? Who taught you to hate yourself from the top of your head to the soles of your feet? Who taught you to hate your own kind? Who taught you to hate the race that you belong to? So much so that you don't want to be around each other. Are you happy here, honey? Are you finding what you really want? I'm somebody else. I'm white. White. White! <laughs> Does that answer you? I guess so. Then please, Mama, will you go? And never do this again. And if by accident we should ever pass on the street, please don't recognize me. I won't, Sarah Jane. Basically, society categorized me as black, but I don't see myself as black. I'm not black. I don't want to be black. Um, being black has been a curse. Being born black has been a curse. If we are the same shade, then that means you're calling yourself dirty. No, I'm not dirty. This is really a trip to me. I'm sorry. Y'all... Y'all gotta understand, I'm having a meltdown inside my head right now. But I'm trying my best to deal with this the right way. See, I personally look at you, and I look at me, and don't think that we're that much darker or lighter than her, do you? No. But we are dirty. You and I look like monkeys. And not only do we look like monkeys, but I'm stupid. Mm -hmm. I'm ignorant. I know right now, through what you're saying, that you are not well in your head. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, your opinion doesn't matter because you're black. Who's still in high school is making quite a stir with her new documentary. It's reignited a powerful debate over race. The teen wanted to do a social experiment first done more than 50 years ago to see what has changed. ABC's David Muir reports instead she learned how much has not. At a young age, I already knew the standards for a girl like me. The documentary is just eight minutes long, but the thoughtful that. debate that has Curly followed hair, has lasted far longer. Girl. Just 17 years old, Kiri Davis is an aspiring filmmaker. She had a vision for her high school film project. After learning about a simple doll test used to help make the case for desegregation in the landmark case Brown vs. Board of Education, in 1954, psychologist Kenneth Clark conducted the test, asking black children which doll they preferred, the black or the white. The vast majority chose the white. The findings were not surprising for the time. With her camera in hand, Kiri sat across from nearly two dozen children in New York City. Can you show me the doll that you like best or that you'd like to play with? This one. I like that one. Can you show me the doll that is the nice doll? Fifteen of the 21 children preferred the white doll. More than 50 years later, her results mirrored Dr. Clark's. And those results have stirred audiences from New York to San Francisco. I, don't have, I have probably like five black female friends. I don't have black friends, black women. Why not? Um, they're just really envious, really hateful to All face and backstabbing. Them. I would say probably like 90% that I've met, they have not you been like the wrong, You mean the wrong people. I uh, know. <laughs> so, what's her deal? You sound like you don't like black women. No, I don't. Well, you don't like yourself. <laughs> no, I'm not black. What, what are you? I'm mixed. I'm not black. I'm human. Let me, let me explain something to you. Young lad, do you ask a dolphin how it swims? No. Or an eagle how it flies? No. That's what you don't, because that's what they were made to do. What's happening? No. So what's happening around now? Nothing. Hell, the fucking traffic out here, all this lovely shit. Shit, don't be jumping off till a little bit later. Shit, yeah, bitch, you got to move around that shit, though. I've been walking. Shit, yeah, bitch, you better try to go get me some motherfucking money on the stand and stop playing games. Tony, I'm not playing no games. Well, bitch, you better, you, ain't, you got some money right now? Bitch, I wouldn't give a fuck, bitch, you out for five minutes, so you better go give me some motherfucking money, bitch, go fire some hoe, you better do something, bitch, go look somewhere in alleys, understand me, stoves, air well. Okay. All right, bitch, shit, I'm gonna holler at you then, man, you know what I'm saying, go on, how long you been, don't let me slow you down, bitch. Okay. In a minute.
So I watched the basketball game last night between a little bit of Rutgers and Tennessee, the women's uh, final. Yeah, Tennessee won last night, seventh championship for Pat Summit. I man, they beat Rutgers by 13 points. Awesome some rough girls from Rutgers, man. They got tattoos and some hardcore hoes. That's some, that's some nappy-headed hoes there. I'm going to tell you that now. <laughs> oh, oh, man. man, that's some, ooh. And uh, <clears throat> the girls from Tennessee, they all look cute, you know, so. Like, kind of like a, I don't know. Spike Lee thing. Yeah. yeah. The yeah, Jingaboos versus the Wannabes. Yeah. That, that a, movie that he had. Yeah, it was a tough. Uh, do the right thing. I don't yeah, know yeah, if yeah. I'd have wanted to beat Rutgers or not, but they did, right? So, yeah, yeah, that is did. a tough watch. More looking at Rutgers. They look exactly like the Toronto Raptors. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess, yeah. Only tougher. Do it, do it, do it now. Lick it good. Suck this pussy just like you should. Right now, lick it good. Suck this pussy just like you should. My neck, my back. Lick my pussy and my crack. My neck, my back. Lick my pussy and my crack. So tell me, what has a hood rat like you been up to since Flavor of Love season two? She know about hood rats. Her ass from New York. She was a bitch. 